And when I taught Algebra 1, one of the teaching Algebra 1, one of the easiest things that would mess up students is I could, once we started learning two-step equations, um, I could easily go ahead and give them, uh, let's see, 14, 15. I could easily give them a problem like this, and they would be like, okay, like, I got it. I can under, like, they could finally solve two, um, two step equations. However, once I change the problem to include fractions, then the students would be absolutely lost. They would have no idea because fractions all of a sudden complicated things. So, the main important thing that I would, that we'd always tell our students is, you know, whenever you have fractions, the easiest and best way to get rid of the fraction or to solve a problem with fractions is to eliminate the fractions. So what we do that is by multiplying by a multiplier. And the multiplier is going to be what is going to be the number that each, and the, each of my denominators divides into. Because if you have a number that divides into it, for instance, 8 divided by 4 is no longer a fraction, right? Because 4 divides into 8. Correct? So we want to find a number that 4, 3, and 12 all divide into. Therefore, we'll have no more denominator. So the smallest number that 4, 3, and 12 divide into is 12. All right. So that's the basic idea. And that's exactly what we have here, is we have a whole bunch of fractions, whereas if we multiply by 12, and again, this is an equation, so we want to produce an equivalent equation, we need to multiply everything by 12. So it basically looks like 12 times 4x plus 1 over 4 minus 12 times 2x plus 3. And I'm going to break this out very nice and slowly because it's the beginning of the year. OK, so basically I'm multiplying this 12 by each and every one of these. Um, but again, since we, we chose 12 because every single one of my denominators divides into that number. So 4 divides into 12 three times. 3 divides into four, 12 four times. And 12 divides into 12 one time. Now I have this equation where I can apply the distributive property to go ahead and simplify my equation. Now I have a multi-step equation, right? So I just need to apply this uh, distributive property, combine like terms, and then solve for my variable. So I apply distributive property, and then I combine my, um, my variables, and then combine my numbers to now produce a two-step equation, which is much easier for me to be able to solve. Anybody have any questions with that? 